all right hi guys and uh, welcome to another laravel video uh, i believe this is going to be the last last one hopefully we can finish the update and delete functionality of our uh, simple uh, website all right in the last video uh, we work on the edit edit is part of the update but um, it, it took uh, uh, longer for us to finish that and uh, uh, the, in the video uh, before that it was about um, creating and the very uh, and then the very first of, uh, one was about reading data from from our database all right so uh, at this point we're going to be working on updates so uh, in the last video uh, we, we've been working here on the edit form and uh, let me just switch the video all right Okay, so we've been working on this edit form, and uh, yeah, in in this in this form we have the action called route, okay, route, and then the first parameter is post that update, and then the second parameter is post that id to ensure that Laravel knows what what row in the database that the user has been selected. All right, so how do we know this route? So by typing PHP artisan route list you will see that there's a post that uh, update right over here okay and it is pointing to the method called update under post uh, controller so let's head over to our post controller and this is uh, the uh, update method so as you can see since in the edit form since we are Passing in the second parameter posted ID, all we have to do is capture that ID right over here in this method. So we can say post and then uh, uh, post. Remember, that this is a class, all right? That right now it's the static way of calling a class in PHP. And you can say find the ID that uh, has been passed in by the user right over here. All right, if you're, if, you, if you're coming from a, a raw SQL background, so basically in raw SQL, this is what you do, all right? So I just wanted to show you, so this might help you out. So post, you can say con, assuming that this is your database connection variable. And then you can say query, and you can say select all from post, all right? And then where id is equals to id. I prob probably at the top you can you might say if all right is set all right post and then your button your your submit button here I'll just say submit btn if you name your button uh, your button like that all right so in the in this SQL you you might uh, have something like this all right yeah actually this is it and sometimes you do die or or die uh, query failed and con error all right so this is what you do in raw SQL and this is basically what we do in Laravel uh, with the same functionality so this one is kind of long and this one is very very clean and short so that's what's what what the, What's good? What's one of the good things in using Laravel? All right, in my opinion. So now that we have captured the ID, all we have to do is say post title targeting the title field in our Laravel, and you can just say uh, equal to equal to what request. Right, the request is coming from the form. It's being stored in the request variable. Actually, you can change this. Whatever you want, could be variable X. As long as you called it right over here okay let me change it back to request normally I don't change that anymore unless you have a very strong reason to do so so you can say title this title is from the database and this one is coming from the form that's why we named the form title right over here and the text area is content mm -hmm. all right so let me just head over to post and uh, let's continue working on this one now we are done with title we can proceed with content and and the content here as well and basically that's it so all we have to do right now is post that save our changes all right that's a method av available in laravel and i believe yeah it's like a built-in functionality so now uh let's just 
uh, produce a very simple uh, confirmation message. Uh, when this block of code is executed, you can say return uh, a post has been updated. All right, how about that? Save it. Um, yeah, basically that's it for the update. And I have confidence that this is going to work. Hopefully, if there's an error, we're going to fix it. All right. So let's uh, see. So save the changes. Uh, let's go ahead over to our page and go to the blog and uh, let's change this post one into something else edit and then the post one uh, let's change this um, about my first million <laughs> all right and let's generate some text for the content and let's go ahead and copy this and then paste it right over here and click update and there you have it the post has been updated all right so it looks like it's working let's see it, let's uh, double check that in our database click php my admin and it's loading all right so let's wait so I'm clicking ignore all right over here uh, our database is this one i believe and let's go to post and there you have it so you have there my first million and the text that lorem ipsum text all right it's right over here all right let's try another one okay let me just head over to the home page let's click the uh, blog and this test post i'll be i'll be opening I'll be searching for one of my favorite game uh, back then, uh, Dark Souls 3, all right? <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and edit this one. And let's change the title to this uh, uh, Dark Souls 3. I like this game. So hard, but it's a nice game. And let's copy this content and paste it right over here. And then click update. A post has been updated and let's go back to the home page uh, go to the blog page and there is our data and it is now updated all right so yeah now we're done with the updating all what is left is delete and view all right for view let's uh let's work on view first we have here a show that blade at page p uh we have created that so that we will be able to preview a single post instead of everything right over here okay so yeah you know what let's do that in the next video so that this one is uh so that this one will be uh, uh nice and short all right uh, thank you guys for watching we're going to be working on delete uh, view and our notification message that every time a user uh, do something editing deleting or uh, viewing a post okay every time they do this uh, we will have a, 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 a notification message that's that looks better uh, fancier all right so thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day uh, keep safe and we're still in the middle of this pandemic and uh, yeah always stay safe bye for now